Good day, students. So in this group, we're going to be going over two examples on how to find the product and quotient of, no of complex numbers in polar form. Okay? So let's go ahead and write down the uh, instructions for the examples. So we have to carry out, carry out uh, the specified operations, the specified um, operations on the given complex numbers and the given complex numbers and express uh, your answer in uh, in polar form and uh, exact or approximate approximate um, rectangular form. Okay. Now, uh, if your result is uh, the the polar form of your result has common angles, then you can find the exact form. But if it doesn't, then you just use your calculator to find the approximate rectangular form. All right. So let's go ahead and take a look at question number one. We're going to find, uh, find the product, find the product uh, of Z1 and Z2, uh, where Z1 equals 5 cosine pi over 12 plus i sine pi over 12 and um, z2 equals 3 cosine pi over 12 plus i sine pi over 12. Okay, so these are two complex numbers writ written in a rectangle in polar form. We know that's polar form because you have the radius and the two angles, okay? All right, so with that in mind, let's go ahead and carry out, find the product, okay? So what is the product, the formula for the product of uh, two complex numbers? Uh, so let's write down the formula. So Z1 times Z2 can be given by the product of the um, radii, R1 times R2 times the cosine of the sum of the angles, theta 1 plus theta 2 plus i sine the sum of the same angles, okay, sine theta 1 plus theta 2, all right? So that goes the formula for the product um, of two complex numbers in polar form, all right? So we're going to apply that to this uh, problem that we have here. Um, we can clearly see in this situation that this is R1, and this is theta 1, and this is theta 1 also. The angles are always the same, the theta is always the same. And this is R2, let's put that in red. This is R2, the radius of the second uh, complex number in polar form. And this is theta 2, and this is theta 2. So to find the uh, product, Z1 times Z2, of these two complex numbers, all we simply do is multiply the radii and then find the sum of the angles all right so we're gonna have 5 r1 times 3 which is r2 cosine the sum of theta 1 theta 1 is pi over 12 plus theta 2 which is pi over 12 and then this is the real part then the imaginary part i sine the same sum of those two angles, theta 1 is pi over 12, uh, plus theta 2, which is also pi over 12, okay? All right, now to um, avoid writing this equation over and over again, let's find out what the value of this fraction is. What is pi over 12 plus pi over 12? So let's do that uh, on the side here. So pi over 12 plus pi over 12, since they have the same lowest common, uh, the same denominator, we have the LCD of 12, we just simply combine the numerator so we have it becomes 2 pi over 12 which reduces to 
5 over 6, we need to divide the numerator and the denominator by 2. All right? So power over 12 plus power over 12 is power over 6. All right? So I'm going to replace my angle of measures here with power over 6. Okay? All right. So we're going to have 5 times 3 is 15. 15 cosine uh, pi over 6 plus i sine pi over 6. Close the parentheses. All right. So guess what? This is the product in uh, standard standard form, like in polar form. Okay. So um, this is result in polar form. All right. Now we're asked to uh, fi also find the result in um, in rectangular form. So let's go ahead and find that. Let me just box this. This is the result in polar form. Now let's go ahead and find what the result is in um, rectangular form. All right. So uh, rectangular form. We need to find the answer in rectangular form, right? So uh, in rectangular form, rectangular form. The rectangular form is also known as the A plus BI form. Okay. So let's take a look at this scenario. So find it in rectangular form. What do we know about these angles? Are these angles common? Pi over six. Let's take a look at our table of common tree, uh, table of common tree um, angles, and let's see if pi over six is present there. Okay. So let's see. Oh, uh, you can also look at your unit circle. So um, pi over six. Bam. Thirty degrees is right here. So it's a common angle. So we can. Uh, uh, find the exact value. All right. So before we do that, let's just write a real quick remark. Uh, since since uh, pi over six is a common angle, uh, we should have. Uh, an exact result, okay? Because we can find the exact trig or ratio of the common angles. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, set it up. Then we're going to use our table to figure out what the final answer is. All right, so um, z1 times times z2 is going to be. It's going to be. Let's just copy the answer we got up there down here. 15 uh, cosine pi over 6 plus i sine pi over 6. So what we're going to do is we're going to evaluate what uh, cosine pi over 6 and sine pi over 6 are. So let's look at our table of common tree uh, angles. Um, you notice that cosine pi over 6 is root 3 over 2 and sine pi over 6 is 1 half. Okay, so those are the two we're going to we're going to be making use of here. All right, so Using that, what we're going to have this equals 15 cosine pi over 6 is root 3 over 2 plus i sine pi over 6 is uh, 1 half. Now, if we do not, if these were not common angles, we would have to use our calculators to evaluate these, all right? So they're common, so we know the exact value. Now, what we'll do next is we're just going to go ahead and distribute 15 to these, to the real and imaginary parts of this uh complex number right here. All right. So we're going to have 15 root 3 over 2 plus 15 over 2 i. Okay. So this is the product in uh, uh, in a rectangular form. Okay. So this is the result in rectangular form rectangular form. Okay, what is the rectangular form? The rectangular form is also known as the A plus B I form. All right, so there goes uh, your two your two results. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at question number two. So in question two, we are going to find find the quotient.
of uh, Z1 and Z2 um, where Z1 is equal to 5 cosine 30 degrees plus I sine 30 degrees and um, Z2 is equal to 1 half cosine 25 degrees plus I sine 25 degrees. You can see the difference here. Uh, problem 1, the angles were in a radian form and in this uh, in example 2, the angles are in degree form. Okay, so same, this, this is still the same procedure. Alright, let's go ahead and find the result in a uh, in polar form first. So let's write down the formula. So the formula Z1, that we are, we're asked to find the quotient, right? So Z1 over Z2 is a quotient. So the quotient of two complex numbers can be given by R1 over R2. We find the quotient of the radii multiplied by the difference of the angle. So cosine of Theta one minus theta two uh, pl uh, plus i sine theta one minus theta two. Okay. All right. So we're gonna um, apply this problem, this uh, formula to this problem that we're doing right now. Okay. So let's go ahead and do this. So um, in in polar form. What do we have? Uh, in polar form, we have Z1 over Z2 equals, now to use this formula, we just need R1, R2, theta1, and theta2, okay? So the first, the, the polar form of the complex number with the subscript 1 are our 1s, and then these are our 2s, okay? So this may, that means that this is R1, this is theta1 and theta1, both the same. And then uh, these two right here, this is z sub 2, so this makes this number r2. This is a negative radius, and then this is theta 2 and theta 2, okay? All right, so let's plug it in this formula. r1 over r2 is going to be 5 divided by 1 half, and then times cosine of theta 1 minus theta 2. Theta 1 is 30. Uh, degrees minus uh, 25 degrees, that's theta 1 minus theta 2, plus the imaginary part, I sine, the difference of the same angles, 30 degrees minus 25 degrees, okay? So there you have it. Now let's go ahead and simplify that. Since we're dividing by a fraction here, I'm going to multiply the numerator by the reciprocal of the denominator, which is 2 over 1, and then times cosine. 30 minus uh, 25 is 5 degrees, plus I sine 5 degrees, okay? Now let's multiply the radii, we're going to have 10 cosine 5 degrees, plus I sine 5 degrees, okay? So this is uh, your uh, result in Polar form. Okay, and polar form. All right, now let's go ahead and uh, find out the result in result in um, rectangular form. Okay, rectangular form. Remember, your rectangular form is your a plus bi form. Okay. All right. All right. So. Um, so the first question we're going to ask ourselves is, is the 5 degrees, are those common angles, okay? We know that they're not common angles. The smallest common angle is 30 degrees. So let's look at our table of common trig angles. We notice that 30 degrees is the smallest trig angle we have, common angle we have. So 5 degrees is not a common angle, okay? So what does that mean? Well, uh, let's write down a short remark to get our solution. Uh, so since 5 degrees is not a common angle uh, 
that we will have an approximate approximate result. Okay, so we're going to have an approximate result right here because we're going to be using our calculators to figure out uh, uh, what the answer is, all right? So let's go ahead and do it. So Z1 over Z2 is going to be 10 uh, cosine 5 theta plus I sine 5 theta, I mean 5 degrees. Now what I'm going to do is simply plug this into our calculator to get the approximate uh, value of this uh, complex number in polar or trigonometric form. All right, so let's bring out our calculators. All right, so we're just going to enter the whole uh, expression at once. Let me just set my mode to degree since we're entering um, this in uh, degree form. So let's see, put it in degree. All right, so we're going to go. 10 parentheses cosine 5 close that plus i uh, sine 5 close the sine argument close the uh, product of 10 enter your answer that there goes your approximate answer so it's going to be 9.9619 for the real part not, uh, I'll write that down. 9.9619 plus. Now we remember it's A plus VI. We need to have a real part and imaginary part. So to see the uh, imaginary part, what you do is you simply scroll. Okay, simply scroll to the right, and there goes your uh, imaginary part. 0.8716. Okay, 0.8716 rounded to the fourth decimal place. Let's go ahead and write that. So it's going to be plus 0.8716i. All right, so there goes your uh, result in rectangular, rectangular uh, form, which is also known as your A plus BI form. All right, so that's that. Well, thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. Uh, feel free to uh, subscribe to my channel by clicking up here. And if you like this video, you can click like. And please post a comment. I really appreciate it. And tell me what you think about this presentation. More clips can be found on myjobserve.com. Thanks again and have a wonderful day.